regardless of anything, she was a mother. She loved her kids. She was a daughter. She was a sister. Like, she has family. She had a heart. She wasn't a bad person. Who hasn't made bad decisions and stuff? That don't mean you deserve it. Now she is asking for answers. Why didn't they protect her? Why? They need to put things in place and make sure the prisoners are being... While executing a search warrant, leaving behind this mess. And bust the bags open all over my grandchildren's stuff. They broke her bed. It's not clear what, if anything, they found. A spokesperson for the Department of Corrections says that inmate with a contraband phone got in touch with her family before prison staff got a chance. They totally went in damage control. All right, what's up with y'all? So look, man, I'm back again with another video. And this situation right here is crazy as hell. But before we get into the video, I definitely have to start this off the right way by seeing r.i.p to this beautiful young lady by the name of Ariane grace i think that's how you pronounce her name i hope i'm not butchering her name when i say this but her name is Ariane grace she was a 24 year old mother of two she had a son that was one years old and a daughter that was four now for her to lose her life like this is so crazy to me it's so bizarre and it's just sickening you know and i also want to send my condolences out to the entire family anybody that had a genuine love for her i'm sorry about that and i just want to send a special shout out to the mother you know i hate that this did have to happen to you i know you're probably gonna run across this video i'm sending you nothing but love peace blessings and healing energy your way i hope that everything will be okay over time especially those children as well they're young but i'm pretty sure they can feel their absence of their mother you know but basically long story short she worked in the kitchen at smith state prison in georgia and she was dealing with a guy allegedly this is very you know touchy so i want to make sure i'm articulate myself the correct way the guy's name is J drake j dark dre shit boy he got a name on him j drakus hart i think that's how you pronounce his name i really don't give a damn about him he ain't nothing no way but um yes he was sentenced to 20 years for actually being involved with somebody else losing their life prior to this he was sentenced to 20 years he was supposed to get out in 2043 and i mean it's just crazy that the main focus in the situation was their relationship i can understand oh i'm skipping a part let me slow down a little bit so right now they're saying that they were in a relationship he's not here anymore he actually took himself out if you know what i mean when i say what i say without me saying it he took himself out after this situation took place and he left a note behind so i think that's where you know a lot of people are getting this relationship or whatever they had going on behind closed doors i feel like that's not really a factor but it could be one because this could be an inside job and there's a lot of other things that could tie into this but i feel like they're broadcasting that more than the initial situation how does someone get a firearm inside of a maximum security facility like this it's crazy to me i don't understand it and i feel like that should be the focus to me to me personally, I feel like that this was an inside job. There's no way in the hell this could have happened without some outside help. Now, who did this is what's really crazy to me. I don't know who did it, but we're going to find out pretty soon. They're saying that they also feel like that um, the firearm been inside of the facility before this even occurred. So, And they're not, they're not saying like a day or two. They're saying that this is something that's been in the jail. So I don't know what's up with that, but... The way that the family found out about this whole situation is crazy. One of the inmates let the people know, let the family know. So they had a cell phone in there. They had all type of country man in there, which is understandable. And I really don't knock it. It is what it is. People are going to run across all type of different stuff. But for them to actually let you know that your family member isn't here before the actual people that they work for let you know is crazy to me. They were trying to make sure they had everything together before they let the family know. And I'm glad that one of the inmates did tell them because they probably would have had a different perspective over this whole situation. But hey, all of that, you know, is going to be talked about in the video. I'm not going to tell you every single detail because it wouldn't be no point in this video. So yeah, well, it would be, but y'all know what I'm saying when I say this. I wouldn't have all these video clips if I was just going to tell y'all everything. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. Or I'll Peter her one more time, and I want to know your thoughts and opinions. Let's go. Worrowing questions surrounding a worker's murder inside a Georgia State prison over the weekend. Investigators say an inmate managed to get a inside Smith State Prison and then the kitchen staffer before turning the gun on himself. Tonight, investigators say they believe the inmate and victim had a relationship. Fox News' Rob Durienzo has been digging into the details of this very alarming story. Rob? Yeah, and the biggest concern tonight is people really aren't sure about how that inmate managed to get his hands behind bars at one of the state's Crazy. maximum security prisons and then use it. 
the Department of Corrections still does not have an explanation for us tonight. But we have since learned that the kitchen employee early Sunday morning was just 24 years old. The Georgia Department of Corrections says inmate Jay Drakus Hart shot the Aramark food service worker inside Smith State Prison in Southeast Jay Drakus. early Sunday morning. She's been identified as 24-year-old Orion Grace. The prison says Hart then turned on himself. That to me is shocking to the conscious and I hope that this is a wake-up call for the Georgia Department of Corrections. Joshua Schiffer has practiced criminal law in Georgia for two decades. He says this incident demonstrates a complete failure by the Department of Corrections leaders. This institution, Smith, is a notorious institution because it's a high security institution dealing with some of Georgia's most dangerous and threatening inmates. Back in October, investigators say an inmate there shanked 42-year-old guard Robert Clark to death from behind. Earlier last year, the GBI charged the prison's warden in a sprawling contraband conspiracy. Hart was serving time for voluntary manslaughter and aggravated battery from a 2015 case out of Carroll County. His earliest release date would have been 2043. This wasn't a shank or a piece of wood or a razor blade. This was a firearm with ammunition and everybody needs to realize how dangerous this situation was and how indefensible this is. The entire state correctional system has been under a years-long federal investigation into allegations of civil rights abuses. The state legislature just formed a committee to review it from top to bottom. This example is an unfortunate reflection of what's happening in Georgia prisons as a whole. Just a little while ago, a spokesperson for the prisons told us they believe Hart and Grace had a romantic relationship. So they say he did leave behind us. No, but there is still no clear answer about how got into a supermax facility at this point. See, this should be the most clearest part of this whole situation. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand why so much fog in between here. I know that this had to be somebody that was in the inside that played a major part in this. And everything I'm saying from beginning to the end of this video is all allegedly. It's all my thoughts and opinions, and I'm not saying any of this to be true. It's just my speculations on the situation. But just tell me how y'all feel about this. Now, the mother is finna speak, and she's saying basically what I said. And I mean, I'm not saying that she, you know, like, is wrong for any of this. But I'm just saying that they are going to bring up certain things that has to be spoken on. But that shouldn't be the main focus. And what I mean by it is their so-called relationship. And he probably said certain things. And they don't necessarily mean that it was true also. Just because he wrote some stuff down. He was just a loser who was finna go ahead and just do anything to crash out. Because he had so much time in my personal opinion. Let's get back into it. I'm Robert Aranzo. No one deserves to die. And especially at work, where she, she, she was working hard to take care of her kids. But first, mm -hmm. the mother of a woman by an inmate at a Georgia prison is speaking only with Fox 5. And that is where we start tonight on News Edge at 11. I'm Christine Spiro. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Tom Haynes. 24-year-old Arian Grace. Smith State Prison in Southeast Georgia over the weekend. Now her family is sharing their heartbreak and their anger with News Edge reporter Rob Darienzo here live in studio. That's right, guys. Good evening. Well, this family is hurt. They're shocked, but they're also furious with the Georgia Department of Corrections. The mom of 24-year-old Arian Grace says she was just trying to earn a living, and the prison failed to keep her safe. I'm really in disbelief of the fact that it was even a firearm in the facility. 24-year-old Arian Grace's family started getting messages on Facebook early Sunday morning that something was terribly wrong at her job at Smith State Prison. Inmates were going through social media, looking on her social media to find people related to her. And that's how Deshonda Higgins found out about her daughter's The prison says inmate Jay Drake is hard Grace than himself. She was working for the food company Aramark in the kitchen there. Prison officials said Monday they believe Grace and Hart had a personal relationship, but her mom sees that as a deflection. Mm -hmm. What does that have to do with an inmate having a gun to kill my child? And Higgins wants the Department of Corrections to focus on that. How the gun got into a maximum security prison where some of the most state convicts stay. She says investigators have ripped apart her daughter's apartment while executing the search warrant, leaving behind this mess. 
and bust the bags open all over my grandchildren's stuff. They broke her bed. It's not clear what, if anything, they found. A spokesperson for the Department of Corrections says that inmate with a contraband phone got in touch with her family before prison staff got a chance. They totally went in damage control instead of trying to figure out how they can correct their, the system. Grace leaves behind a one-year-old son and a four-year-old daughter. The 24-year-old was saving money to go to nursing school. And one of the things that they're saying that was one of her last words was that I have children. Now, just to hear that, man, it's touching. But I really do hate that a lot of these people out here are lacking emotional intelligence. But some people are so crazy and messed up in the mind to the point where they don't give a damn what they do to a person as long as they can, you know, get some type of satisfaction out of this. You know what I'm saying? Because somewhere in his mind, from his sick, twisted mind, he got enjoyment out of this because you wouldn't do nothing like this. He went to the furthest extent, in my personal opinion, to actually get this weapon and do this is crazy to me. And to actually find out that this happened on social media is so crazy to me. I know this got to be something that's very nerve wracking because, I mean, it's already bad enough that this is happening. But y'all don't even have a common courtesy to let me know what's going on instantly because I'm pretty sure that y'all knew. You know, and if they didn't know, they should have made it their business to know. It should have been no slip ups in this situation. Being in a maximum or a high security facility, there's no room for anything like this because, as you know, in these type of facilities, like the man just said, this is where some of the most violent convicts are, you know? And I mean, why wouldn't y'all make sure everything was cool? Now you got somebody out here hurting a uh, mother, children, family member. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy to me. It's gone now. This is crazy. Let's get back into the video. Well, a child, I'm tripping, not children, but yeah. They lost their mother. It'll be better. Let's go. One deserves to a family member. And especially at work, where she 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 was working hard to take care of her kids. And the Georgia Department of Corrections spokesperson says six Aramark employees have been told not to come back to their jobs at the prison based on this investigation, but they did not explain why. The food company says they're working with corrections officials to assess employee safety there. Guys. Yeah, it is a remaining question. How did that contraband get in the jail in the first place? Yeah, and the biggest question, of course. I mean, so your heart sad. just goes out to that family. Yeah. yeah. Rob, thanks. News 3 learned that the pair had a personal relationship, but the attorney for our young Grace's family says investigators should be more concerned with how it got behind prison walls. Facts. system is beyond me that I can like, comprehend. How a firearm got into the hands of inmate Jadrika's heart is the question on the minds of Ariane Grace's family. Their attorney, Malone Hart, sharing their devastation after the death of the young mother of two. There's no way that she could have brought it in based off the security she has to go through. It's the security elsewhere that's lacking, and um, we believe this firearm was actually brought in prior to her ever working there. The family claiming they have not been treated with respect by the Department of Corrections. There's no way that a family lose a mama or a, a child, a daughter, uh, because she's in a bad relationship. The, the focus should be on the system acknowledging that they should do some stuff, uh, taking precautions to stop stuff from just like this from happening. Grace began working in the prison kitchen in January. Inmate Hart was serving 20 years for voluntary manslaughter out of Carroll County with a maximum release date of June 2043. A current employee blames Warden Jacob Beasley and Commissioner Tyrone Oliver for not cracking down on contraband. News 3 kept this employee's identity anonymous since she claims to have received several threats. Inmates are running the prison. We're just allowed to be there and we're allowed to go home every day by the grace of the inmate. She has worked in the prison system for almost 15 years, most recently in the mailroom. She says Grace should have never been put in a deadly situation. There should be an officer running that kitchen and supervising what's going on, and there should be no guns in, in the institution. It should be an impossibility. This mm -hmm. incident is still under investigation. Now, this is the second a staff member here at Smith State Prison in less than a year. You may remember last in less than a year, and they said that um the guy made a whip and if y'all was just so eager and got to get straight to what she was saying, that's what she was saying. But you know, to have this ha to happen twice in one year, in less than a year, is crazy to me. It, there's no way in the hell this should have happened, bro. They being loose, they really don't care. And to actually hear somebody say that the prisoners run this. It's crazy, bro. It's like y'all don't have no control over this. Y'all getting all of these government dollars every month. 
you know what I'm saying, millions and millions of dollars every year, and y'all can't even have a, a, a grip on certain things, it's really because they don't give a damn, because they got the manpower too, they just don't give a damn, you know? But for a mother to actually lose their life doing their job at work, it's crazy to me. And there's gonna be somebody out there saying that she shouldn't have been dealing with him and things like that, y'all are crazy, bro. It might be true if that is the case, but there's no reason for someone to take someone's life at this manner. You know, you that soft, that emotionally immature to the point where you can't control yourself and you're ready to take somebody out. Your ass is grass, bro, in my personal opinion. And I hope he burned and y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's go. October correctional officer Robert Clark was with a homemade weapon while escorting. The family of a food service worker at Smith State Prison is speaking out after investigators say inmate Jadrakis Hart killed her Sunday morning. Then Self. Today, the mother of Ariane Grace sat down with WSCV Sarah Smith. Uh, Sarah, how is she doing? Well, Tina, she's devastated. Ariane Grace, nicknamed Ari or called by her middle name, Shanae, was a mother of two, a daughter, a sister, a friend. GDC investigators say Hart and Grace had a personal relationship. Her mother, Deshonda Hagen, says this should have never happened and the system failed her beloved daughter. Definitely. There is no way there should have been a can an inmate with a hand and they're seeing all these things about my daughter do they even know y'all nobody knows the real story because she's not here to tell it a mother grieving for her child Deshonda Hagens found out her daughter Ariane Grace was through social media inmates at Smith State Prison messaging Grace's sister saying her last words were quote but I have children I just started screaming it, and panicking and we just I didn't wait for nobody else to call because I just wanted to go and put eyes on my child so we went to the prison in a statement the GDC confirms this saying the family was on scene for seven hours Hagens describes her daughter as a caring hard-working young woman someone who will go out of her way to show kindness to anyone but her mother worried for her kind heart and i used to always tell her you can't let everybody get close to you because when they see that you have a kind heart and you will help anybody they'll take advantage of that she says her daughter made a quote bad decision by being nice to an inmate but that should not have come with a sentence regardless of anything she was a mother she loved her kids she was a daughter she was a sister like she has family she had a heart she wasn't a bad person who hasn't made bad decisions and so that don't mean you deserve to die now she is asking for answers why didn't they protect her why they need to put things in place and make sure the prisons are being read correctly so that no other mother has to go through this, no other wife, no other sister has to go through this. Higgins is left with Grace's Statesboro home that she says was destroyed when the GDC investigators allegedly searched it on Monday. They destroyed my daughter's house. They took trash out of the dumpster in her apartment complex. All my grandchildren's stuff was in there and they opened those trash bags up, left old food, trash, dirty diapers, all that stuff in my daughter's home. When asked about the contraband, a GDC spokesperson sent this statement, quote, accusations that the GDC has not been, quote, cracking down on contraband are grossly inaccurate. The battle against contraband is daily and occurs across all GDC facilities, not just Smith State Prison, end quote. It continues to say full facility shakedowns, canine shakedowns, and quick strikes are conducted on an ongoing basis. I did reach out to... No. What's gross or whatever y'all want to try, however y'all want to try to put that, is that the fact that y'all allow, yes, I said allow someone to bring a firearm into this facility. Don't try to say that that's the girl. I don't see y'all speaking about her situation, how y'all just spoke about the so-called grossness of of saying certain things about how y'all doing things. Man, that's so crazy, bro. You got to pay attention to everything. Like I always say, everything that's presented to you isn't presented to you for nothing. That was presented to us. I feel like one of the reasons is because they more worried about how they look versus what took place. You know what I'm saying? Which a lot of people do in business and everything like that. But that's definitely one of the reasons. And I think it was just so broadly posted like that for us to actually receive that, how we needed to receive that. The mother need to go ahead and get her compensation. And some people need to get fired. And I feel like that, you know, I hate that that cow went out the way that he went out because he definitely deserved other things that he had coming to him. But let's get back into the video.
Governor Kemp's office asking for a response to some of Hagan's statements. I have not yet heard back. The attorney for Hagan mm -hmm. says they plan to take legal action against the GDC. This incident is still under investigation. Sarah Smith, WSC. Tonight we're hearing from the mother of Ariane Grace, the 24-year-old who was yeah. inside of Smith State Prison in Glenville. Grace was shot by Drake's heart, an inmate who later shot himself. Ariana Stansfield sat down with her mother as she grieves the loss of her daughter. Anna, what was it like hearing from her today? Well, Mike, Deshonda Hagen's family was all around the room as we did this interview, showing just how many people Ariane's life touched. She was a sister. She was a daughter. She was a mother. She was loved. Ariane Grace leaving behind a large family, including a one-year-old son and a four-year-old daughter. Her mother, Deshonda Hagen, says Grace's kids were her life. She worked 11 days straight, 14 days straight, just to make money to make sure she could provide for her kids. Hagen says knowing her grandchildren will now grow up without their mom is heartbreaking. He's only one years old, so he's probably, he's probably not even going his mother. In the wake of her death, Hagen says she and her family are left looking for answers. My child is and I read it's, it's no explanation for a firearm to be inside of a prison. Why didn't they search him when he left his dorm? Why didn't they search him before he came into the cafeteria? Why was none of those things done? All questions we've been asking the Georgia Department of Corrections who tell us this is an ongoing investigation and they'll get us more information mm. as soon as they can. They is saying the prison should have done more to protect her daughter. They failed her. You failed her. Investigators have released few details about this so far, one of them that Grace and Hart had a relationship. Grace's mom saying that should not be their focus. She still didn't deserve it. She still didn't deserve to leave her two children. Thanks. Nobody deserves that. I don't wish this on my worst enemy. Of course, we'll keep asking the Georgia Department of Corrections for more details about this and what happened and leading up to that. And we'll, of course, keep you updated as we learn more. Mike? It's the end of this situation, and like I said before, I definitely agree with the mother 100%. I just feel like that they was bringing it up just to kind of put things together for the masses as well, you know. But there's no need to make that the forefront of this whole situation. The main topic should be definitely that somebody brought a firearm into a maximum security facility or high security, however you want to put it, whatever you want to say. I hate that for her, RIP to her. Man, I'm sending my condolences out to her family, especially her children and mother. Nobody should be bearing a child and a mother due to somebody else being inside of a maximum security sentence. No, you know, I mean, even besides that, they shouldn't be burying someone because of any of this. You know, these people out here that are pretending to be men are weird and crazy as hell, especially with the girls pretending to be women also. You know, I feel like it's a sad and unfortunate situation when you can't even be safe where you're supposed to be safe at, you know what I'm saying? But hey, I feel like it was an inside thing. I'm not gonna change my mind on that. It has to be to a certain extent, but overall, I wanna know your personal opinion. I just feel like that somebody helped orchestrate it, if y'all don't understand what I'm saying when I say that. But hey, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this whole situation. RP to her, man, I keep on saying that because it's just a sad situation. You never probably would've thought that you were gonna lose your life like this, you know, especially with having two children. Your child is one. You just got done with your pregnancy and everything like that. It's just crazy, bro. But hey, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. If y'all made it to the end of this video, I definitely do appreciate y'all, and I will holler at y'all later on another video. All right.